Lawmakers held a hearing Thursday focused on the GameStop trading frenzy. Stock in the company rose nearly 3,000 percent in January before it came crashing down. Nancy Chen reports. My family was not wealthy. Keith Gill may be better known by his online alias, Roaring Kitty, the name he used during the GameStop trading frenzy. It is true that my investment in that company multiplied in value many times. For that, I feel enormously fortunate. Gill mobilized an army of investors through the Wall Street Bets group on Reddit, whose CEO defended the platform's role in the January drama. Wall Street Bets may look sophomoric or chaotic from the outside. But the fact that we're here today means they've managed to raise important issues. Much of the buying happened on the Robinhood trading platform, whose CEO faced pointed questioning from the House Financial Services Committee. I don't have time. I just need a yes or no answer. Why did Robinhood restrict the buying, but not the selling? Fly Tenev told lawmakers when the app halted buying at the height of the run-up, it was not to protect the hedge funds who had bet against the stock and were losing billions. Robinhood Securities put the restrictions in place in an effort to meet increased regulatory deposit requirements, not to help hedge funds. We don't answer to hedge funds. One of those hedge funds was Melvin Capital Management, whose CEO described a barrage of hostile posts from small investors. Many of these posts were laced with anti-Semitic slurs directed at me and others. The post said things like, it's very clear we need a second Holocaust. The wild swings unsettled both Wall Street and Congress, creating, then destroying billions of dollars of wealth and opening a new debate about the need for stricter regulations. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.